So today I'm bringing you guys some planters that I DIY'd. I told you in my last video I have become a plant mom and I needed some planters for my new plants. I have some new black print succulents and then I also have a heart of palm and philodendron and some snake plants. So I am planting them. Um, of course I'm going to show you these pots with some faux plants in them just so you can see them hanging. I'm taking some rubbing alcohol here just to clean off the planter in the back with the succulent in it and these are some of the markers and paint pens I'm going to use the gold one is actually from Dollar Tree and comes in a variety of colors if you're interested in using that so again I'm going to take the rubbing alcohol wipe this one down and I just googled cute face literally and pulled up the images um, to get an idea of what I wanted to put on this particular planter you can also do a decal or if you have a Cricut you can do a printout of words or an inspiring quote um, I chose to just do a cute little face and it's more of a nod to the anime I guess I've been introduced to um, but I love it it's super adorable and I have it sitting on my counter now so here we go So I just drew an outline of the face, um, I freehand it, and I will tell you right now, I am no artist, I am a creative, I am not an artist. Um, so anybody can do this, if you just have a plain pot and you really feel like it needs something additional, you can definitely freehand this. Um, if you're more of a perfectionist than I am, you can definitely measure this out as well. Or like I said, take your Cricut and um, print out the piece. Or I know some people buy faces or face parts and sticker form on Etsy that's also an option um, it would have been a lot easier <laughs> that's for sure but I just drew this on I took a sharpie and just drew over the pencil mark and then once it was done any remaining pencil mark I took some of the rubbing alcohol um, I will say use a cotton swab not a cotton ball because it's less messy and provides you with more precision and it cleaned it up perfectly and so the next one, these are kits from the Target Dollar Spot. They come with the twine and the beads. I will forewarn you ahead of time, you're going to get to see me have a lot of fun with this project. Um, the twine phrase, of course, and I had to reconcile that. And then the beads were a little too small. The hole to put the twine through was very small. Um, so that took a little bit of effort to even get it through. But here I'm just taping it off. My initial idea was to do a stripe pattern on this pot. Um, of course using matte black paint and just letting the white be exposed. Um, I'm going to recommend that you use frog tape. It is probably one of my favorites at least for walls and painting. In this case you will see that the paint leaked through and I'm not afraid to show you guys some of my fails. That's really just a part of crafting and designing in general. If you fail you improvise um, and you clean up your mess and that's pretty much what I did here. So I covered it first. I thought I pushed down the tape well enough to seal it. Um, then I went in with one, two coats of paint actually. Um, one coat at a time of course and hopefully they were lighter coats I was trying to be as gentle as possible but I just spray painted it down and then you'll get to see me have fun ripping off the tape um, in the next couple of clips I also spray painted the beads for this one black as well And here we go with the tape fiasco. It's going to show you some bleed through, some of the paint tore off with the tape. It was just kind of a hot mess um, and very frustrating. So I essentially ended up taking it back downstairs to the basement and I just sprayed the entire thing black and I'll show you how I updated it at the towards the end of this video. And 
Now for the next planter, I'm taking some craft paint I got for 50 cents at Walmart and a stencil from Dollar Tree. I'm cutting that off. My initial thought, again, was to just have the stencil be black, um, and you'll see that. Um, but really these are meant for more flat surfaces. The whole round curved surface thing did not work out for me. I mean, it came out a little sloppy and I guess, you know, I wasn't really rushing necessarily, but if I had a flatter surface or was able to push it down more, I mean, you'll see I even cut it down on the end when I went to finish off the stencil on this piece. But again, I ended up painting it black and then the stencil created a raised portion on the planter, uh, which is really cool. So I ended up spraying it matte white um, and that shows through in the end result and it looks so much better than it did when it was black and a hot mess as far as I'm concerned. And here are the finished pieces after I've repainted them. The white, you can see that the raised portion of the stencil comes through. And here I am trying to string through the twine, but you'll see it's way too frayed um, and honestly too thick to get through that tiny little hole. So I took some hot glue eventually and I twisted it onto there to make it a little stiffer and stronger so that it could pull through the hole. And then I just tied them into the knots based on the directions there in the back. Now I'm going to string the beads on. Again, I took my hot glue and put it on the end of the twine to help it get through the center of the beads. Now these are kits, they came this way from Target Dollar Spot, so I was just using what I had. But I do recommend that you buy beads that are a little bigger um, and also that might fit your personal style a little better. I also recommend that you get longer twine or rope um, whatever you want to hang your planters with um, just because these ended up being a little short especially after you tied the knots and you can see I didn't take up too much of the twine to get the knots on there to begin with um, but I just used what I had and you'll see at the end they are a little short but they still turned out really cute And now that I've improvised, um, after painting this all black again, um, you can still see some of the stripe coming through, but that's okay. I took the paint pen from Dollar Tree and I just drew on some little stars. And the best part about crafting is that sometimes you do have to improvise. I mean, that's really life in general. 
And so I think they still turned out really cute regardless of my initial plan and I can certainly try better <laughs> to get um, a different look on other planters as my plants actually grow um, at a later date. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like, share, and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram at flutteringthrough. Bye!